world, what's up? Uh, yeah, I'm on a roll with videos today. I know, fucking crazy. Anyways, though, I was reading the AJC and I noticed, ha, psh, here's an article. Falcons running back Jason Snelling arrested, charged with marijuana possession. Oh, shit. Well, okay. Well, first of all, this uh, hasn't happened, uh, I, well, it, it's happened before in under Smitty. Uh, players still, you know, they play even though they've been in trouble with the law, you know. 2008, Laura Malloy arrested drunk driving, though, you know. Uh, 2009, I think it was, uh, yeah, Jonathan Babineau, pot. They got arrested for pot. And last year, Michael Turner arrested, you know, DUI, drunk driving as well. So, Snelling may not miss action. Well, technically, I think he shouldn't, though, because right now, in my opinion, he's the best running back that we have, though. I mean, ever since Steven Jackson came back from his injury, he has not performed the way he should be. And Jack Quest Rogers, uh, no, he just hasn't. He's had a couple good um, good stats in some games here and there, but uh, it's I he still hasn't convinced me though. That's just me. But uh, yeah, it's um, of course yeah. It was like the uh, cop pulled him over at a uh, little after three thirty a.m. You know, found out you know Fugo wasn't staying in his lane. Smelled the big o. Smelled this really strong order. And it was pot. Well, he said that he had a grinder, though, like, in the uh, middle council. And, of course, he also found out that he had some pot in his mouth. He was trying to, like, swallow it or something. But, anyways, well, okay, of course, he was charged with all this stuff, you know, like, whatever, insurance stuff. But that's, that, that, that's, that's not important. That's, like, in terms of importance of, like, you know, player and stuff. I think the main reason why he was caught with pot, dude, the team is 2-7. and seven. It is a disaster. We're not making the playoffs. The hell with the Super Bowl. I mean, that that was, I'm sorry for that. Uh, that would have been nice, but unfortunately, that no, no, not at all. I just think that he's stressed out, though, just because of the situation. I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't blame him, though, because... Really, it's like Falcons fucking suck. I mean, but again, I'm still I'm still room for them. Uh, they um, hey, we play Tampa Bay Sunday, so you know it's uh, we could we could we could be three we could be three and seven we could be three and seven after that's after that game though. So that's that's what I'm hoping for on that one. So just positive on that, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's if you're in his position though. I mean, would you, would you do that? Would you try to calm yourself down? I mean, there are other ways though to calm to calm yourself down when you're really stressed out in a situation. Now, I necessarily do not smoke pot to stress uh, to keep me calm if I'm very stressed. Though, if I smoke pot, yeah, of course I smoke pot a lot, quite a bit though. Um, I haven't smoked pot in I guess a few months. Yes, I have smoked pot this year though. Uh, but I I do other things to keep me calm though exercise meditation cold shower <laughs> but uh, yeah I, I don't do I don't uh, smoke pot to keep me uh, try to keep me calm though but um yeah I again I I really don't blame Snelling however I would say though I mean his his in his use of marijuana I don't blame him. However, I think he should have been smart with it, it by not smoking it or having it out while he was out. Especially, you know, whatever time, yeah, 3.35 a.m. I Wherever he was going, whether he was going to his house, friend's house, party, well, whatever, whatever he was doing. Wherever his final destination was going to be that evening, that late evening, like when he was going to be sleeping, 
Most likely, I'm just going to say he was, he was going to his house. We'll, we'll just put it that way. If he was going to his house, I'd say, just wait till you get home, man. Smoke that shit at home. Do not leave it out. I mean, this is Georgia. This is not Washington. This is not Colorado, man. Pot is not legal here. Yet. Well, uh, maybe not for a while, but it's still not legal here, man. You still got to follow the rules, though. And the fact that you are an athlete, a professional athlete in the NFL, in the United States, you have this role model of a job for especially young kids, though. When they see that, man, dude, it, trust me, it's not, it's not going to look good. It's not going to look good. So, yeah, that, that's, that's my intake on it. I don't, I, don't, uh, I don't blame him for having the pot. I just blame him for how he had possession using it at that time. He could have just waited, you know, for another time or something, you know. That, that's just me, though. So, um, yeah, I guess when it rains, it pours, right? But no, um, I'll just try to stay, stay off, stay away from that kind of logic shit. And uh, hopefully we'll be 3-7 after we beat the Bucks on Sunday. Yeah.